Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In a previous tutorial on Vertex AI Agent Builder, we explored how to use static data sources like PDFs and CSV files to power a chatbot that can answer user queries. We also learned how to index and analyze this data and provide information to users. However, real-world applications often require access to dynamic and constantly changing information. This is where integrating external data sources comes into play and this tutorial will guide you through the process of integrating external data sources, specifically APIs, into your conversational AI agents that you build on Vertex AI Agent Builder. By connecting your agents to external APIs, you can unlock a world of possibilities and create truly intelligent conversational experiences. In case you have missed the previous article, I'll be leaving that link in the description, you can check that out. If you don't want to read it, there is a video tutorial of the same article, I'll be leaving that link in the description, you can check that out. Now imagine an e-commerce company that relies on conversational AI agents for customer support. If the agent only has access to static data, it might not be able to answer questions about product availability, shipping timelines, etc. By integrating external data sources such as APIs from inventory management sh systems, shipping providers and marketing platforms, the agent can access real-time information and provide accurate and up-to-date answers to customer inquiries. Dynamic data sources are essential for conversational AI agents to stay relevant and effective in a constantly changing world. Unlike static data which quickly becomes outdated, dynamic sources provide real-time information enabling agents to deliver accurate responses and adapt to evolving trends. For this article, to illustrate the concept of integrating dynamic data sources, we'll be using a simple warehouse data API. So this API basically allows us to retrieve the address of a specific warehouse based on its ID, providing real-time information that can be used to enhance our conversational AI agent. I'll be leaving all this code link in the description. You can check that out. The API is implemented using Flask, a popular Python framework for building web applications, and we have deployed this on Google Cloud Run. To know more about deployment on Google Cloud Run or quick starts and documentation, I'll be leaving that link in the description. You can check that out. After I deploy the API on Cloud Run, I have created a YML file that will be that will be used in the process of configuring the agent and tools. You can check out the YML file in the GitHub repository. So think of this file as a blueprint for your API, outlining how it should handle the requests and responses. So this YML file is written in a human readable format called YAML, yet another markup language, which is often used for configuration files. It describes the different parts of the API. And remember, this YML file plays a critical role when integrating your API with conversational AI agents in Agent Builder. It provides a structured way for the agent to understand how to interact with your API. Agent Builder uses the YML definition to configure tools that can access and interact with the API, allowing the agent to effectively retrieve data about warehouse addresses and seamlessly integrate it into its responses. In essence, the YML file acts as a translator between your API and the conversational agent, making the data accessible and usable within the agent builder environment. Now that we have the API ready and good to go, it's time to connect the API to our agent and see how we can integrate real-time data into Agent Builder. So this is my Cloud Run screen where I have actually deployed the uh, API that handles the warehouse addresses and the ID. So let's just head over to Vertex AI Tools, inside of which we'll be going ahead and creating our first tool. I'm going to click on Create. I'm going to give it a name saying Warehouse Address API. After which I'm going to be selecting a type as open API, after which I'll be giving it a description that says provide warehouse address information. And once you're done with giving it a name and description, just go ahead and paste in the YML file that we just created or you created while you're deploying your API. Once you're done entering the YML file, selecting the type as open API, giving it a name and description, go ahead and click on save and navigate back to agents. I'm going to click on save. We'll go back to agents here. And when we're in agents, I'm going to be click on create a new one. I'm going to give this agent name as warehouse management. The goal of this agent is going to be pretty clear, help get the warehouse addresses given a warehouse ID. Now that we've given it 
the goal and the agent name it's time to design the instructions for this particular agent so these are the instructions that i'm going to be giving the agent that is greeting the users providing information for the warehouse addresses only summarize the user request and then confirm that you understood it if necessary you can clarify and you can see there's a specific thing that says tool so this was a tool that we just created where the api is connected so you have to remember the particular name and put that inside of the instruction so you they so you are instructing the agent to use this particular tool to help the user with the task and once you're done you can thank the user for their business and say goodbye and once you're done let's just go ahead and click on save and just like any other software agents need thorough testing this helps identify bugs in their code understand their capabilities and most important simulate real interactions with users to refine the overall customer experience so while you are in the console go ahead and select the uh, agent the appropriate agent select the generative model that you want and you can ask the question now so i'm going to be starting off by just saying hello i want the address for id 3 zoom in a bit as we had discussed before the agent will always confirm the question and then provide you with an answer so i'm just going to say yes And here you can see it has generated the address and it is again asking me is there anything else I can do with it. And if I try to match it out with the code here, I can see the third address is 789 Pine Lane and that's what it is here. So this is how we can basically use Vertex AI Agent Builder and integrate external data sources into this. Now that the chart app is ready and good to go, it's time to publish it and embed it into your website. Now that the chart app is running and good to go, it's time to publish it and embed it into your website. To publish the chart app, just go to the menu and click on publish agent. When you come up here, it's, it's, it normally asks you to uh, decide the style of authentication and authorization. And once you have done, you can select the type, whether you want it to be a pop out UI or a side panel. And once you're done, you can just copy this code and it's as easy as putting it into your HTML file like here and you can embed your chat app into your website that easily. So in this tutorial, we looked at how we can build a conversational AI agent with the integration of external slash dynamic data sources into Vertex AI Agent Builder. This was a very simple example where we used an open API to return the addresses based on their ID. I'll be leaving all the links in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share, and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.